Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome to Grimm's Hollow, an RPG adventure game about searching the afterlife for your brother. Welcome, new Reaper. Dang, afterlife's all cutesy. Not so much like a Tim Burton cutesy, but more of like a innocent cutesy. Before it's inevitably ruined by us. We're so happy to have you join us. It's been such a long time since we've seen a new face. Dude. I'm sorry, it just reminds me of it. What? Who are you people? We're your new friends. I'm calling the police. Wait. I don't have my phone. Why she's acting like that for? Grandma hasn't given her the lowdown yet, remember? Oh, good thing we have balloons. Everyone loves balloons. Dude. Where are my balloons? Crap. This is an even bigger one. You look like a giant mass of slime for some reason. Although I'm assuming that's your cloak, but you look like no face. I, I think that was his name. I'm spirited away. Everyone, shoo! Ah, uh, Grim, must we? No parties to be thrown until the newbies initiate. And no parties to be thrown without me. Especially with my balloons. Uh, come on now, everyone. Out. There'll be cake later. I am sorry if they scared you. They're a bit... overwhelming. What is happening? Right. I'll just be straight about it. You're dead. Huh? You're dead. N no, I heard you, but... Why are you here? Well, unfortunately, your spirit isn't strong enough to move on. Here at Grimm's Hollow, spirits such as yourself help deliver ghosts to become stronger. Ghosts? People whose spirit is too strong, making them frenzy and unwilling to go. We reap those, and uh, it's a topic for another time. For now, you need rest. There are fresh robes for you on the bedside cabinet. The local baker has also been kind enough to give you some donuts and cookies free of charge. Unfortunately, we don't have milk. Wait. Do you know where my brother is, Timmy? Sorry, little one. I don't know a Timmy. But if I meet a Timmy, I will tell you. Have a good rest. I can't stay here. There's maybe some sort of weird cult. I should put on the robe so I can blend in and escape. Fresh robes and reaper mask. Also took two delicious donuts. Ooh. Three spooky cookies. Nice balloons. It's locked. Ah, <sighs> of course. Psst. Hey! Listen! I can help you. I saw Timmy in a cave. Cave? Yes, it's where the reapers go to reap. Oh god. Don't worry, he was safe last time I saw him. Where can I find him? Which way? Just go left to the exit out of town, then head into the first cave you see. You'll find him in there. But do me a favor and don't tell anyone I was here, yeah? You know, these reapers, they're kind of nuts. I'd like to offer you good luck. Thank you. What if we aren't supposed to trust you? Hey, how's everyone go? I'm just a fellow, um, I'm fellow reaper. Gonna be, a, you know, a reaping. What are we reaping today? Wheat? Can't tell whether they're asleep or awake. So I don't want to talk. I hate to wake up my partner. He needs to restore his willpower. Hmm? Me? 
I'm trying to look out the window. I've never seen a view like this when I was alive. That's sad. No sun, no moon, no concept of time, night or day. Oh, sorry. I didn't even freak you out. Book of Names. Reapers who have left us. Ghost Encyclopedia. Caring for your scythe. You hope you have time to read them. Reaper's Starting Guide. Rules of the Hollow. History of the Hollow. Delicious Recipes. Grim Dictionary. Essential words for a Reaper. Come in terms of death. An illustrated guide. I like the Grim Dictionary. I'm assuming it's just a series of death puns. You know, kind of like, at the end of the day when you come back home from work, you're just like, Man, this job has left me deathly tired. Or when you go to reap someone, you're just like, Looks like you just weren't cut out for life. And then, you know, you kind of hate yourself. Not me, though the reaper. But the person who's being reaped, they hate themselves. Because they have to hear a series of death puns before they go. How's that for having lingering regrets? Welcome to the Grim's Hollow. Title drop. Trademark. Mine. Oh, hello. My friend and I were supposed to meet at the bakery and need some pastries. But I think they've stood me up. Now it's just me and my new friend, the balloon. Oh. <sighs> I'm trying to eat a donut. Go away. Rude. Hey, broski. I've been thinking. If this is all we eat, how are we able to process all this sugar? Should we be fat from all these carbs or something? There's no such thing as carbs when you're dead. Now shut up and eat your cake. The reaper pokes a chocolate cake with a fork. Put a fork in it. Have you seen Timmy? Sorry, but there's no reapers called Timmy in the Hollow. You can trust me on that one. I know all of my customers. Um, who's asking anyway? No one. Are you a reaper? Technically speak, I am. I want enough spirit energy to pass on. But I don't reap any ghosts. I prefer the bake. So call me Baker, please. Why is there a bakery here? Reapers don't need you to survive. But even if we're dead, we still get tired. Our reaping can be very draining, if it's a difficult one. So I sell bread that restores willpower during a reaping. That way, reapers don't faint out of exhaustion. I get to spend more time collecting spirit energy from ghosts. All I ask for in return is a small portion of spirit energy. So then one day I can pass on myself. That's the agreement Grim and I made when we were discussing opening up the bakery. Grim's job is, after all, to make sure everything in the hollow passes on. Though really, it didn't take much to convince Grim to let me bake instead of reap. All I had to do was give him a taste. Got no money. Ooh, a morbid muffin. And this is just a chocolate cake. Mork. So what's to the right? Could that look cool? This looks like Grimm's house. I should try to avoid him. So is that just sequel to Billy and Mandy? Grim, uh, Grim, like, retires. He's like, you know, I'm just going back. I'm finally just leaving you kids. You're too annoying anyways. Comes back here. He works with, like, better kids. You know, dead ones. This cave is void of territorial hazards. Safe for all initiated reapers. Grim. North Waterfall Cavern, East Gaffley Tavern, Grim's Hollow. South Death Cavern close. East nothing special. Huh? Oh, Oi, hey, get up! The Reaper prawns his partner with the butt of the scythe. Up now! Don't wanna. Too tired. Sorry, but case closed. It's brimming of exploding ghosts. Exploding ghosts. Large gaps and broken bridges. Until Graham finishes restoring it, this area's off limits, dude.
keeps open all reapers. Save my game. This isn't the cave the ghost mentioned. It's dark in here. Guess I'll take off the mask. Timmy! Right here we are! Wow, what a fresh face! You must be the newbie! Yes, I am. Can you help me? So are we all wearing masks? Or are this it like... Once you've been doing this enough, you like lose your face. You just take it off and it's just hollow. Perhaps a Grimm's hollow. If you're looking for another reaper in here, you'll need a scythe. Here, take mine. Thanks, but why? Oh, heads up. Ooh, tutorial. That's a ghost. Unlike us, it has way too much spirit energy. We need to reap that energy right off it. Wait, what? Why? It can't pass on otherwise, poor thing. All the energy is tormenting it. Now pay attention. I start swinging to start your reaping. Special. Tumbling matters when swinging puts down air around the ceremony, especially when you look at swing. Dang, I messed up. I looks like you missed. And you can swing by pressing down the arrow key. <laughs> Look at that blue bar. Reaping with a side brings out your spirit's special power. But it doesn't stay for long after reaping, so let's make good use of it by pressing special. Pierce. Bloom Cloud. Uh oh, that goes to preparing a special attack. Press down once the blue bar reaches the boot to dodge it. Looks like you got hurt. Your willpower has gone down. You can go to your pocket and eat food to restore your willpower. If your willpower is zero, you'll pass out. Well, that's about it. Once the ghost has to run off spirit energy, it'll pass on and stop bothering you. Good luck. Observe. This gloomy spirit lowers your willpower through a sulky sigh. There's not much keeping them from passing on. 26,100. The ghost faded away. Two spirit energy reaped. What was that flash just then? That means your spirit has collected some spirit energy. Close your eyelids. And look. Upgrade tutorial. Ooh, it's like Final Fantasy X. These numbers next to letters, SC, and that's how much spirit. I'm gonna drop the voice for a second, so I can read this properly. That's how much spirit energy you have. Use it to increase your strength, speed, defense, and special power. Use it to learn new special com moves of combat. Gags up from the menu, pressing accessing newbie's spirit. Believe there's spirit buffling up with energy, they can finally move on. Anyways, I shouldn't hold you up. Go find your Timmy. I'm sure he's missing you. If you need any extra help, I'll be around. Don't worry about dying. We're already dead. Ha, ha, ha. Watch me too hard, try working on your speed. You're faster than the ghost, the bar moves slower than when you're swinging. Ah. Ooh. Zillions, these ten. Sleep. Red flame. Willpower. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a spear grid. Let's go! Come here, come here. Hey, what are you running for me? I'm reaping you. Oh god, there's more than one of you. Uh oh. Stop sighing. Oh crap. It's an active bar. Kicking my ass. Run away! Oh, we're dead. Wow. 
passed out. Fuck. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, you passed out in there. Looks like that ghost you fight gave you a rough time. You're gonna eat when you're in danger. Sounds silly, but it works. Damn, I was totally cashed out. I was so weak. Revenge! I think. down. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit of a grinding game. Nice. through a hurtful song. If their friends are hurt, Carol will sing soft healing him until they're all better. This all goes to five. So I've been using spirit energy um, on my stats just so I can survive. So let's do that again. And a little more Defense. I feel like I need it. They, I've been getting hit hard. Look, we finally managed to make it for the first room! Please note that ghost caves sometimes have ghost walls. These illusionary walls which hide secret, secret entrances. You can make them disappear by facing a wall and pressing Z. Trying to get lost, Grim. I heard there was a ghost wall around here. I poked and prone this wall on my side, but nothing's happening. It's down there. That ghost is. He's a ghost wall! Ooh, a Jerry. Wait, a Jerry? What? It's protecting its friends. It puts a special protective effect on his friends at the start of the reaping. As long as they're reserved, they can't be hurt. Using Pierce is very effective against spirits of high defense. Okay, that's pretty good speed. Ow. Ow. I'm Pierce it. Bill Knight's ghost. I'm a paranormal... Paranormal Reaper Cop. Slice, slice, I mean blat, I mean slice, blat. Penelope, reap ghosts. You reap what you saw. Ooh, good amount of spirit energy. You probably the reaper with the butt of your stick. Ugh. Ah, did I pass out? Oh no, that means I'm late. I'm supposed to be at the bakery. Thank you so much for finding me. Here's a reward for your trouble. Ooh. Healing items that I have plenty of at the moment. But I can't upgrade my stats. That's my speed. That's my special. Okay, nice. I'm not sure it's like a... I don't get to that one. It's a mystery to us all. I 
I can't I actually have a little hard time telling what's what leads to the next screen or not. How you doing? Oh, it's a snorer. Look at it sleeping peacefully. He and you'll likely be on the receiving end of their fury. Um, is they gonna kick my butt? Do it! Yeah, that's right. Don't you double scratch me. Nice. Get and swole. Alright, let's start saving our... Stuff now, because we seem to be handling this area pretty well. Let's get some new abilities. Ooh, man, these things are expensive. I should probably also eat. Hey, you ghost! I'll deal with you later. over there. This one looks kind of angry. Maybe they all just look angry. Yeah, it's a coastling. Ghosting will strike to their ghostly clump we can dodge their visiting ghostly gale and do so on repeat. That's odd. I could have sworn there was interest around here the other day. Ooh. Yeah, that was under that. Yeah. Tough ghosts, actually. Cool. Let's take out the singer first. Let's not do any OE, you don't wake up the cat. Let's go to town. Yeah, 
you doing? Come in the reaping up some things. <laughs> Stats are doing pretty good. Let's try getting some more skills now, I guess. Whoops. I think we should get these like red flame skills. I've seen red folks and purple folks. Yeah. So like once you get the initial things, like everything's just like increasing in cost like a lot. Upon the rebirth above your stick. Ah! Oh, thank you for finding me. I was chasing down a ghost, but they disappeared, and so did the exit. That sticky ghost led me into an ambush. Uh, here's a reward for your troubles. More items. It's not often you find a very intelligent ghost. They're usually very impulsive and frenzied. It's useless. Useless! They try to talk to them. Poor things can't help it, though they just have too much spirit energy. There's one area. I'm not sure how we get to it. Pull up. Is that a- no, that's just a texture thing. Let's go in. I mean, a donut. Timmy? Where are you? Lavender? Is that you? Timmy? Lavender? Hold on! I'm gonna get you! Oh no, you're not. Do you remember me? We didn't unlock too long ago at the inn. I told you you don't trust the ghost. Well, I wouldn't think you care. You just reaped a dozen ghosts like me. Uh, thanks for your help, but I'd like to collect my brother. Collect. That's a nice word for reap. Huh? No. I should have never helped you. You're just like the other reapers. I just want to take my brother and go home. Let me through. No, you've done enough harm. You are not reaping him. The last thing I do. Well, that was this upgrade. Ah, uh, should have gotten the red flare. Damn. Perry, red spirit. Perry puts protect figure on your friends. If I swim you use a special move on me, you'll be hurt instead. Perry. It makes sense, Perry's defending the ever ghosts. <laughs> Failed. Ooh, that's scary. Fill up some more. I accidentally be observed. No. Okay. Pierce. God. Got like out damage the healing too. Bye, Perry. Tried your best, my buddy. <laughs> Ghost faded away. Nice, 34 energy. This is a good living. Timmy? Are you still there? Oh my god, Lavender. What's with your eyes? Soulless. Lavender? Are you okay? Y you can't be a ghost, Timmy. Lavender? 
Why are you crying, Lala? Tim? Yeah? Hide inside my pocket. Whatever you do, do not come out until I say so. Stay invisible, otherwise. I don't know if I can protect you. Is that clear? Okay. Yep, just, just walking back home. You know, no ghost in my pocket. How you doing? Yeah, you eat your cake. Yeah. There you are. Where were you? I was worried sick. Figuratively speaking, that is. I can't be sick. Er, uh, I went for a walk. I wanted to stretch my legs and grind. I see. Well, now that you're up, I may as well invite you for tea. I don't suppose you mind walking a bit further. Want to rest first? Ah, well, my home is on right by the end. Drop by any time. We only saw me with the mask before. This is the first time we've met. What do I say? Grim invited me for tea. Huh? Really? Wow. He's become better with people now, I guess. Grim didn't ask me out for tea until I started baking for him. I'm jealous. What's he going to do? Whoa, don't look so scared. Lavender, was it? Grim is a chill entity? I'm not sure what he is. Grim spends half of his time managing the hollow. I never have somewhere else. I feel like a lot of soul eater influences on this. I suppose that makes him my boss, although I don't see him as one. Anyways, I'll just talk to you about life at the Hollow. Life may not be the best word for it. How's business going? Are you Reaper? Why is there a bakery here? I've got plenty of healing items, not too worried. See what I can upgrade here. Paper flame. Get blue flame. Good to go. Then I should tag. Brazilian seems cheap. I can just tag it real quick. Shatter. Now it's spirit's defense. Doubles your strength. Doubles your defense. Doubles your speed. Very expensive. It's like the one Doug. What was it Doug character? Very expensive. Confident swing. Activate the spirit and gain their willpower. With a confident swing on your scythe. Not bad. Quick attack. Swing and immediately start your next move, ignoring the spirit's speed. And sleep. Just, you know, debuffs. So, Lavender. Which of these treats are your favorite? Is it a cookie? Or cake? Are you into muffins? Or donuts? The baker's dying to know. Wait, that's not the correct word, pardon me. He is eager to know. Yes. Cookie, cake, donut, muffin, cake. Good taste. That too is my favorite. Would you like said that to anything I said? Mr. Grimm. I've got a question. No need for formality. You can call me Grim. Ask away. Can a ghost or reaper ever live again? No. Unless... Unless... They had a soul. I don't understand. Don't we have souls? No. I'm afraid you're all just spirits. There's a difference. When you die, your soul disintegrates because you don't need it anymore. All that's left is a spirit, which makes you either a ghost or a reaper. But every now and then, there are beings who arrive here with a soul completely intact. Normally, when this happens, I redirect them back to life. This is a rare occurrence, however. Anyways, oh long tea. Yes, please. Long tea. It smells nice. Do you have any more questions? Why were you mad about balloons? <laughs> you remember that. Well, I wanted to throw the party first. I was going to set up the balloons in this room right here, but when I looked in the closet, all the balloons were gone. 
Are you a god? No, I'm certainly not. As far as my powers go, I can teleport a certain distance, and I can reap ghosts very well. But other than that, I can't do a lot of things. I can't bake, for example, such an amazing thing. Food. And then I die. I don't know that, I'm afraid. I don't see anything which happens on Earth. Boy, that must have had pass on. My guess is as good as yours. I've never seen the afterlife, only delivered spirits to it. I'm good. You know, usually new reapers don't tend to believe any of this is real. If they do, they start assuming we're a cult. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's the masks. But it seems you've taken to the idea rather quickly. That's because I saw Timmy as a ghost. After that... And so... I feel rather concerned. Does he know? What are you trying to say? Simply... Whether you're alright, Lavender. I care about all my Reapers. Yourself included. I'm... Whoa, oh, 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 oh. I'm alright, really? Very well. A baker, you do need to sneak into my closet for ingredients, you know. But you look busy, and I was running out of flour. How would you like teaching Lavender to reap? I mean, I would like to help. But you know I don't fight, Grim. You'd be better off asking someone else. You won't have to fight anyone. What if they faint? You're the fastest person in the hollow next to me. You can run out of there, carrying them. Well, okay. Excellent. Lavender, whenever you're ready, talk to the baker at the bakery. I'm gonna put away the ingredients. See you later, Lavender. I only find it teaming up with him acceptable if he uses baking puns during our entire time. Looks like your goose is cooked. I don't tolerate half-baked efforts. Is everything all right, Lavender? Hope the tea was your taste. Grim's specialty is reaping ghosts. There's no way I can tell him about Timmy. Everything's fine. Thank you for the tea, Grim. My pleasure, Lavender. What's this? A mask. It looks incomplete. Huh. There's native fabric and needle lying on the chair. Is that for me? You made sure to finish your oolong tea before leaving. What's in the back room? Ah, yes. Thank you for reminding me to lock the closet door, Lavender. I do not enjoy scolding people. But I think I must be more firm about Reapers wandering into my closet whenever they like. I wouldn't recommend going for there if I were you. That door is an interdimensional portal to a world full of ghosts so horrifying that you would not recover upon seeing them. Why is it here? Oh, it's my morning shift. There are ghosts outside the hollow that must be dealt with. Psst, sis, I need to talk to you. You peek down to your hoodie pocket. What that guy said about having a soul. I had one too. But Timmy, everyone used to have that. No, but I had one when I arrived. What? I don't wake up in a cave, and when I look down, I look like a person. Like I used to. And everything was kind of glowy, like a greenish glow. But then other ghosts came into the cave and they were scary, and they started chasing me so I started running. Then I blacked out. When I woke up again I felt light, and I couldn't see myself. I think my soul is still here, Lavender. Somehow, I can feel it. Maybe that ghost took it. I believe you. I will try to find it. Thanks, sis. Now shush, I need to go. I look crazy if I'm caught talking through my pocket. You look crazy anyway. You stick out your tongue and immediately close your pocket. This plot's gonna have like a little heavy angle towards the end, ain't it? It's a little too... I'm not saying it's like go like horror or anything like, oh, it's all grim and dark now. But it's it's got... I'm sure there's some kicker to it, like a little... kind of stab that's gonna happen. I just... I'm just not sure where yet. It's gonna happen at some point. It's gonna like... Shh, right in the heart. And then the back. And then the toes. 